Hi everybody, it's Mark Russian of markrushin.com. It's my second video on Friday, November 20th, 2020. And uh, we're going to talk, I got, I got a whole bunch more news going on here in the afternoon. I'm going to rip right through it. Not going to waste any time. Hopefully, not going to waste any time. First, first order of business is I got my um, uh, desk stand here and it looks great. It's a, It's super cheap. But whatever, I can't remember what I paid for it on eBay. It was something like uh, $17, something like that. But it, it serves the purpose here, right? So you got that on there. It's nicely, it's adjustable. And, of course, the camera. I don't know if the camera's picking it up that well. But it's back there. It's back there. I can put a piece on there. Open face, that's nice. Now, I put a piece on there that had a uh, plexiglass or a glass front, and all I got was a, a screen reflection. So that we're just going to have to do everything open face. So don't worry. I have a lot of those. I have a lot of uh, just uh, regular painted canvases as well. Brought a bunch back with me from uh, that I'd had in storage in, in Des Moines and smaller pieces. So I, I might be working some of those eventually. We'll see. So that was great. That was great to see. And uh, what else we got here? In the, oh, song decks. Song decks. I, I, so I called. If you saw the first video of the morning. You saw that I had a little bit of trouble with uh, um, uh, trying to get tracks into Pandora Premium. And there's a system where you have to, the, because of licensing or whatever, you have to get tracks into Song Decks, which is part of Music Reports, blah, blah, blah. I had some problems. As it turns out, I called somebody there, and uh, we've been exchanging emails uh, throughout the day. And they're just like, oh, well... Uploading the music reports and music and uploading to song, de song decks is essentially the, it's the same database, and so they're trying to get everything sort of sorted out with regard to those ninety tracks that I had listed, and uh, we'll get it sorted out. We will get it sorted out. It, it won't be a problem. They're very nice, and they said that the reason why that this that the page was unresponsive was because those tracks were already in their database. Which of course I'm just I didn't say anything, but I'm just like. I don't know, like every project that I've worked on for the last 20 some odd years in software testing, whenever we've had to upload a bulk file of any kind, CSV, Excel, whatever, we always, in the process, always provide feedback, you know, either a, um, you know, a, a notification of some kind or a modal screen or uh, up in the corner, the little, there's a term for it. <laughs> it's not a modal, but it's a, uh, it's usually like up, up here in the corner. And, uh, uh, they, I guess they didn't pro think about programming that. And, oh, Hey, so if there's a problem or there's no error checking, right. A nice little uh, message saying, Oh, you, you're, you've already got tracks that are in, uh, that are in the database. So, uh, you know, take a look at it, try again, or, or here are the tracks that are that you're trying to upload that are already in the ba database that are duplicates. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. So uh, <clears throat> it'll get taken care of here eventually. It's fine. They, they're aware of it. So oh well. <laughs> I don't know why their uh, contact form didn't work, but that's uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. All right. What's the next topic? Oh oh oh! I got a uh, I got a uh, text from John Harnish. Of uh, of uh, my conspirator in ambi in the early versions of Ambient Matic, I've not heard from him for about three years, and he only lives you know twenty five miles away. But yeah, anyway, it's great to hear from him. Uh, he's doing better, and he's got a place, and uh, he wants to get back to playing, doing some live stuff, live ambient at the Matic Building. I was like, is that even allowed? Apparently it is. Apparently we could do He and I could go in there and do something. <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see. I got to get some speakers. I don't, I don't have anything. I, I got rid of everything as far as um, for, for live playing. So I don't have a speaker or amplifier or anything like that. I bought and sold them over the years. I can get one. It's not easy. Not, not, not easy. It's not difficult to get one. I can get something uh, within sh fairly short notice, you know, Worst case scenario, I can order, order something from Guitar Center before they go bankrupt, right? Oh wait, they're already they already filed for bankruptcy. Oh, what a bummer! I actually kind of like the uh, 
kind of like the store in uh, in Davenport. I've been there a number of times. Bought some stuff there. I bought a few things from the uh, Cedar Rapids store too. So, yeah, music stores. It's tough. It's 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 a tough go. Whether you're independent or even a big chain. Of course, those big chains. Yeah, it's 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 not about the product. It's always it's always about keeping people on credit cards. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it'll be good. Be good. This uh, well, we'll probably have a call here later today or this weekend. And uh, great, great to hear back from John Harnish. And uh, I, I got some pictures here, and uh, it's the last time that we that we played together was 2017 at his old place and <laughs> that was crazy and we we played around with the uh the uh what was this photo here he took of me and then he was on the ground it was like one of those um uh <laughs> you get a leg there and some legs there the panorama he's doing a panorama shot because he's just we're having fun and uh and then there's also, yeah, tw late 2016, we were playing down at the Artisan Sanctuary, which I think was the old, it was the old um, uh, uh, Salvation Army building, wasn't it? It was, I uh, know, it was, it was the old Salvation Army building in the Czech Village in Cedar Rapids, and I think that later got turned into like a coffee shop or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, <clears throat> but that was before the remodel. And we got what do we got here? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. What else we got? Yeah, there's John. John playing the bass and my tabletop of uh, uh, soft sense and uh, iPad apps, and the stuff I use. And there was a mixing board there for some reason. Uh, oh, it was right at the end. It was right at the end because the artisan sanctuary was moving to. Uh, to Marion. I remember that. Yeah, they, they were moving to Marion. Whatever happened to that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have my foot in the uh, Cedar Rapids scene anymore. I, I, I haven't lived there for a while. But uh, fortunately, I had to be through, been through there uh, recently, you know, with all the stuff going on with the windstorm. And, uh, anyway, great to hear from John. Great to hear from John. Uh, what else do we got here? Blick order. Yeah, let's get to art. Get music in the morning and then rambling here in the afternoon. So I got uh, got the whole Blick thing figured out and um, uh, got it in order for some for some frames. I already have some frames in a certain size and I ordered some uh, pre-cut mats as well. I'm going to do 8 by 10 and 9 by 12. And there's a reason for that. I'll show you why here. So I already have some of these. These are really great, great frames. Blickwood gallery frames. They're really, really excellent to use. Super. They look smart. They look really good. And they've got uh, they got the plexiglass built in if you want it. And uh, I've got a bunch of these 8x10s. So I just ordered some. Hold on here. Let's make sure. We're... So I just ordered some uh, pre-cut mats, and then I thought I'd get some nine by twelves as well. And the reason for this is the eight by ten. If I put a mat in it, so it will be up to like uh, I think it's like about five and three quarters by seven three quarters. Very small image. And the nine by twelve will take. Um, it's almost eight by ten. So a very a small painting. So it'll look like. Like this is eight by whoops. <laughs> this is eight by ten right here. So nine by twelve is a little bit bigger, and then you have then you have a uh, a mat around it. So it'd be something. It'd be that size image. And, um, and the reason I'm I'm just going to go with those two sizes is um, as far as uh, matted and frame paintings is because where did that go? Where did oh, here we go. I just want to ship out in one particular size, and that would be USPS Priority Mail. And this is the uh, medium flat rate box. 
And this costs on, on eBay, it costs about, I think it's like $13 and 20 cents to ship out. And both uh, an eight by 10 and a nine by 12, one of them will fit in one of these boxes. And I just, I just want to make it super simple, you know? And, and I thought about going a little bit smaller. Hold on here. And I grabbed one of these from the post office last night. And this is a uh, the small box. I think these are about eight eight dollars and ten cents. If you sell something on uh, eBay, that's what the the um, the mailing cost is. But these things are so small. I mean, you know, I can read the dimensions and everything like that. But really, you're not going to get anything more than uh, you can pack a. I can pack a desktop frame in there. I think that'll work. Okay. Let's make it, let's let's build it together here, all right? Let's just kind of, how does this work? These perforated edges here. And this, does that perforate? It perforates there. Doing it live. Do it live. I think that'll fit. Yeah, that'll fit a. Uh... You go. A desktop frame will fit in there, and you can close the box. It's kind of a tight fit, but so for the desktop frames, I'll put them in these small boxes, and uh, pack them well on either side. But the other ones, the uh, the eight by tens and the nine by twelves. They'll go in the bigger box here, the medium flat rate box. Now they have a large box, and it's like twenty dollars or something like that. But it's uh, it's uh, deep rather than wide, so I can't anything larger than that will have to be uh, like a custom made. Whereas, like you know, in the beginning here, in the beginning here, I just want to use um, you know prefabricated boxes with flat rates, just for simplicity's sake. Let's not overcomplicate this, all right? Which I tend to do. Which I tend to do. I thought about putting some imagery onto eBay, but I'm going to wait until those mats and all the all the frames are here, and then that way I can kind of go and each image that I want to put on eBay, I can uh, edit, put it in the mat, uh, put it in the frame so it looks looks, and then take it out. You know, I'll just have it'll be a. It'll be a, a mat and a frame that's just constantly used for photographs. Right, so I'll have the scan, and then I'll have it posed. And that, that will take a little bit of time, but it won't take that much time. I won't have to have that many photos, but get better with the photography, right? So that'll take a couple days, although I did order it. Uh, they still have the, uh, the uh, bonus $3 ground shipping out of a Galesburg, Illinois. So they were like, uh, free shipping. It'll be here, you know, who knows when, a couple weeks. Or the $3 extra shipping, and it'll be here in two days. Or you can spend an extra $33, and it'll be here in two days. Or, you know, I think I'm going to take the $3 option. I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. Next step, load up that eBay store. We'll get up to uh, we'll get up to 50 items on the free side. And then if I if 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 things go well. And that'll take some time to get those numbers up there. But the, if that goes well, then who knows? I might I might uh, pony up for an eBay store. You know, it'll cost me uh, sixty dollars a year to have up to two hundred and fifty listings in there. That's a lot of paintings. You know, and eventually it becomes a numbers game. You know, people are looking for paintings, looking for imagery. You know, if you only got like uh, uh, 13 or 15 out there, it's you're going gonna to get lost. But if you, if you got 250 out there, I could have 250 out there. Because there's a possibility that I could sell. Yeah, there's a possibility I could sell some. Now, what's the, what's the pricing, right? You know, I've got uh, my eBay store right now. You know, the little desktop frames are $99.95. And uh, the smaller framed are $149. And then the eight by tens are two fifty nine, but they're all make offer, right? You don't have to pay full price if you don't want to. You could make a reasonable offer, and I could, I would, I would, I may accept it. I may accept it, right? 
You know, if you're looking, you're for, you're looking for something that looks that great, like this. Where are you going to find a painting that looks this fantastic? Right there. Look at that. Evening heat. Why isn't that sold? That's a great painting. Perfect for that little spot on the mantle next to the next to the cat. Perfect. We'll sell that eventually. That that's great. That's an awesome photo. That's an awesome painting. Evening heat. It, it just looks like evening heat, doesn't it? I'm pretty good with the titling on this, I think. I don't know. What else we got? <sighs> My gosh, that's it. Can you believe that? Wrapped it up in just a little over 15 minutes for the afternoon. But then again, it took me two videos during the day. I'm, I'm getting, I'm enjoying this. I'm having fun. I'm having fun making these videos here. It's uh, keeping me accountable, keeping me motivated. It's all about, it's all about me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just trying to get through these times. Being creative. What can I say? All right. That's it for today. Uh, I got a chainsaw that's arriving tomorrow. That'll be fun. Maybe. Hopefully I'll live through it. Hopefully there's no accidents. <laughs> Electric chainsaw of all battery powered chainsaw. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? All right. See you tomorrow.